What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. As some of you may know, it's actually DEF CON season. It happens every year in August, and it's one of the biggest hacking conventions in the world. I'm actually sporting a Rabbit Labs shirt today because Rabbit Labs actually is going to have a booth at DEF CON. Now, last year, I made an absolute ton of these maker chips. Now, these are actually printed on transparent PLA. This is transparent PLA from Bamboo Labs. It's brand new, and it's freaking awesome. I've got them in blue, this really, really cool red color and purple you can even see there's a little bit of a holographic design on these these things are so cool i also made these little nes cartridges these things are really cool too people loved these this year i made really cool fallout stickers from the characters from the movie hackers so we've got crash override acid burn serial killer i love this one it's so cool the phantom freak the plague of course we've got lord nikon joey we've got all of the characters here it's so cool one of the other things i made was this now this is a mesh tastic device it's actually using a helltech v3 with that cool blue oled and a really really awesome case made by none other than alley cat this thing absolutely rules and i carried this thing with me everywhere at defcon now i feel like last year was the year of mesh tastic because it was brand new and everybody was all over it we were all making so many devices just like this one now, the problem was the fact that you needed to actually pair your phone with these devices, which kind of makes the whole off-grid thing not make much sense. Well, that's changed because I've got not one, but two devices, including this brand new guy right here, which make having a phone completely unnecessary. I honestly feel like with all these brand new devices that are kind of just plug and play, Meshtastic might finally be having its moment. There are an absolute ton of reasons why you might want a completely off-grid messaging system. So being able to just go out and buy something that works right out of the box is absolutely awesome. All right, so that's about enough intro for now. Let's get at it. All right, so I do want to preface that the LilyGo T-Deck is not brand new. In fact, I've got this one that I built up about a year ago. I've got an absolutely fantastic transparent case from, again, none other than Alley Cat. Now, when I first started using this device, it had a really, really primitive UI, which we'll actually see a little bit later on. But now they've actually got a really good brand new UI, which looks fantastic. But, I mean, I had to print my own case for it, include my own battery, which... You can see it's plugged in because I stole the battery for another project. So it wasn't exactly plug and play. You had to put your own firmware on it. So it had a little bit of a barrier of entry for some people. So then they introduced the T-Deck Plus. This thing is absolutely sick. You can see it's got a great form factor. It's small. And this is how it comes straight out of the box. It's ready to rock and roll. Plus, backwards, this thing came flashed with Meshtastic. You have an option of doing that. So literally, it's pretty much plug and play. But now Lily goes come out with a T-Deck Pro. And for the form factor, this thing's an absolute powerhouse. It's actually really, really freaking cool. So let's go ahead and switch to the top-down camera. We can check out all the cool features, all the pluses, and all the minuses of these devices. But not before this segue to today's sponsor. PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for PCB design, manufacturing, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and more. No matter what your project, PCBWay's got you covered. They have engineers on staff there to help you for every single step of the way. And if you need supplies or tools, the module store's got you covered as well. So head on down to PCBWay.com for a free instant quote. Thank you so much to PCBWay for your continued support. You guys are absolutely awesome. Let's get back at it. All right, so here we have the LilyGo T-Deck Plus in all of its glory. You can see it's actually got a like camera mount in the back, which is kind of fun. You can mount it and stuff. It comes with a really nice antenna. Just make sure you know what region you're in because here in America, we use a 915 version. And in different regions, they either use an 868 megahertz or a 433 megahertz version. So just know what you need. It's so cool though. I actually didn't even take the plastic off. So we'll do a really nice peel. Oh yeah, there we go, brand new. Let's fire it up. It has a tactile on off button on the side. It's got an SD card slot. It's got, I think a Grove port, I could be wrong. And that's a reset button. And on the bottom we have USB-C because it's the best of all the USBs. Up top is a little spot. I think you can put a GPS external antenna on this, but for now we just have that guy. So let's fire it up. And we're running the latest version of the Meshtastic software. Now, or I guess technically it's firmware, but it's made specifically for the LilyGo T-Deck. So it actually works really well. And in just a second, we'll be fired up. There we go. It's a little hard to see with the exposure, but you can see I got three nodes online. And what's also cool is if we do Alt B, 
we can turn on the really cool backlight. It's so freaking cool. Now it does have a little trackball, just like on a like an old Blackberry, but at the same time, it is also a touchscreen. So you can see I've got all my other nodes connected right there. It is so freaking cool. Now, one interesting thing I ran into on this device was actually, if you notice, if you go to home, it says region unset. That's actually false. It is set correctly. So if we go to here, you can see the region is set to US because I'm in the US. Uh, the problem I had was when I set it up originally, I couldn't see any of my other devices. I actually had to go in on the back end, so using a computer or a phone, to set the frequency slot to zero because for some reason it set it to one and this wouldn't work. So all I had to do was switch it back to zero and everything worked. It says region on set, but it sees everything, which is super freaking cool. Now this device also does have GPS. So you can see, I don't have the map tiles downloaded, but it actually shows where my device is, which is freaking cool. Um, obviously I'm gonna have to blur it out. Then we have all of our chats. So I'm just in the default long fast channel. So when you set up the device, Long fast is basically the region's kind of normal base group chat, for lack of a better term. Um, so if we go into long fast, you can see all of my testing and stuff right there. And if we go to type something in, hi, and then send, we'll see over here on this device. Let's see if it wakes up. There we go. New message from Squash Deck. Very freaking cool. So that's literally how this works. Like there's nothing connecting these two devices except for wireless. So there's no intermediary. You don't need to connect to the internet. You don't need Wi-Fi. You don't need like a, a SIM card. None of that stuff. It's all just between these devices. Now it's also super cool is you can make repeaters. So this is a repeater that's been sitting on my desk for over a year. Again, from the same time of DEF CON, there's no battery in it and it's got a really poorly printed 3D case, but this is just a repeater that was sitting on my desk. It was repeating all of the signals from a T-Deck to this, to any other T-Deck, because what's great about Meshtastic is it makes a mesh network. So it just bounces from device to device to device. So the more devices you have on the network, the better your network is and the longer you can go, which is really cool. Now, what's also cool about the mesh devices is that they don't have to be a full on device like this. They can just be any ESP32 LoRa device. You could even hook it up to a small battery and a solar cell, and these things will work and act as repeaters almost anywhere. So obviously in today's day and age, sometimes you want to be able to communicate with other people completely off grid, completely anonymously and encrypted. And these devices let you do that, which is really freaking awesome. So let's move on from the T-Deck Plus to the T-Deck Pro and see the main differences here. So this thing came in with its own firmware and I was actually able to flash Mestastic to it, which is cool. Actually, let me reboot it. I'll show you some of the secret sauce side button reboots. I've got the M5 launcher on here. That was a secret sauce to this because I was able to use the M5 launchers web flasher to flash this thing. And once I did that, I was able to add an SD card. Where did that go? Oh, SD card goes in there. And that had the Meshtastic firmware that I found off a Reddit post. And yeah, now it's actually running Meshtastic. What's also cool about this device is this, you can put a SIM card into this if you want to do like MQTT or hook it up to, you know, effectively online and do things that way. You can still do that. It's very freaking cool. Now, I haven't tried this. Does this actually have a backlight? Can I do this? Ah, uh, no, no backlight, but it kind of makes sense because this is an e-ink display. Now, what I noticed about this is it's a very, very good e-ink display. When I say that, I mean that it doesn't actually have to flash the whole screen to update. Now, the Meshtastic firmware on here is effectively like the old Meshtastic firmware, so it's not great, but I'm sure they'll have new stuff on here very, very soon. It does have GPS that I apparently haven't hooked up to. Oh, that's right. I just restarted it. So it hasn't paired to any satellites yet, but it will in a second. So this thing has pretty much the same hardware as the T-Deck Plus, but it's e-ink. So it's got a better battery life. It's smaller. Like, look at how small this thing is. It's absolutely awesome. And again, it has the exact same functionality as the other device. Now, I assume down the line, it's going to get new and better firmware for Meshtastic, which will make this an even better device because yeah at the time of filming this i'm pretty sure that the firmware for this has only been on this device for a week and it's effectively just poured it over like it's not a custom e-ink display setup so this is pretty much it for everything it does like to pause the screen a lot to save battery because you know it is what it is although it shouldn't have to i would think because it's e-ink isn't it automatically paused question mark either way you press a button and it goes through here and then yeah we can just go ahead and write another message Hey, now it is a little slow on the refresh. Now, I think that's just because of the firmware that's on there right now. But again, I can send that and then 
Here we go. It makes, I don't know if we can hear that chirp, but that's pretty much the same chirp as you hear at like a dentist's office. I think it's really fun. So at this point, honestly, this device is like right there to being almost a perfect mesh-tastic device. The UI could be better because again, this is, I don't even want to say alpha. This is like bleeding edge, ported over. It works. It's proof of concept, but this is a touch screen. We can obviously do, oh, that's why screen pause so you can't touch it. There you go. So obviously it's a touch screen. This could be so much better because the only thing separating this from this UI is literally just a little bit of extra work. So this should be no problem in the future. And you can just buy this device. Again, it's a little bigger. You got a big antenna, which does give you more range. So if you and a bunch of your friends got a bunch of these, they're only like maybe $80. I know it's a little on the pricier end, but for what you're getting, honestly, it's basically just a Blackberry walkie talkie. It's so freaking cool. And again, you don't need any other hardware. So you and your buddies can talk to each other off grid with an encrypted messaging system. It could not be easier. Now, this isn't my first or probably last video on Meshtastic, but when I got these two devices together i was just like man they have come so far with this project i mean we started out with these big old devices and we still had to use a cell phone with them which again feels like it kind of negates the entire purpose of them now you can just buy one of these things effectively turn it on update the firmware and you're talking and again simply being able to communicate off-grid in an encrypted way with other people is incredibly important i know i'm definitely bringing mine out to defcon i'm pretty sure they had their own mesh so if you happen to be there hop on and see if you find me i am giving away an absolute ton of swag so if you see me shout at me as always if you've made it this far in the video you guys are absolute legends thank you so much for watching please make sure to like comment subscribe leave a comment down below we'll catch you next time <laughs>